I wanted to kind of pop on here right quick and update um, just kind of what's been going on. I haven't really posted anything in a few days. Um, and today I'm definitely not ready to be on camera, but I will. It is wet, cold, or rainy, and I think my mood pretty much matches the weather. Um, today I had to take one of my fur babies to go get fixed, and I know that's for the best, but it's kind of sad at the same time because he's my baby. And now I know I'll never get any babies off of my baby. <laughs> my husband would beg to differ. He, he, he does not want any puppies. Um, and it, it, he really needed to have this done anyway. Um, because we didn't need any accidents happening. And we're about to be going out of town. And he's going to be staying with my mom while we're gone. And my mom has... German Shepherds also. He's a German Shepherd. I guess I could have mentioned that. Um, but she has German Shepherds also. One which is a female and is in heat right now. So I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off getting him fixed. And I guess now I had no choice because we didn't need any accidents happening while we were gone. Um, but this morning it was so sad. I had to take him to the vet and when I walked him in you could tell he had no clue what was going to happen, what was going on um and when I put him in the cage in the kennel to have to leave him he just looked at me like I hate you he did, he just he looked at me it was so pitiful, he don't, he does not understand why I took him there and why I left him there and I feel terrible. I'm ready to go get them all day. Time has been just dragging because I'm so ready to go get them. So that he realizes that I didn't just abandon him. Because that's what I feel like is going through his mind. Is she brought me here and she left me. Um, I know some people are going to think that's crazy. But if you have pets. Most people that I know that have pets, their pets are a member of their family. They're like children. And he is definitely my big wild child. And I miss him and I'm ready to go pick him up. I know he's not going to be feeling great for a couple of days. Bless his heart. But, um, like I said, I know it's for the best. So, here in about an hour, I get to go pick him up. I'm in the school line right now picking up Sierra. And then I get to go pick him up, and I cannot wait. So I'll film a little bit of that. Bless his heart. He's going to have one of those big silly cones on his head. It's... Oh. Well, alright. So, I'm going to pick her up and go get him. I can't wait. I'm so ready to go get my baby. <laughs> Guys, so it's a little bit later. Well, actually, a lot of bit later in the day now. We got Jaeger and he did great. He's definitely groggy and out of it. Um, you can actually hear his kennel in the back. I haven't taken it out of the car yet because since we're going to be going out of town in a few days, um, he will be going to my mom's and he will be riding in that kennel down there. So there's no point in taking it out and just putting it back in in a couple days. This thing is huge and it's not easy taking it apart um, so I'm just gonna be lazy and leave it in there um, but anyway yeah so he did good and he's at home resting and I just went to the store to go get some supper some stuff to cook supper taco night I love taco night it's so easy and delicious everybody loves tacos um, yeah, so I'm going to include a few clips of Jaeger resting. Um, not too much to see though because I thought he was going to have one of the big goofy cones on his head, but actually he didn't. Um, the vet didn't see any need for it, so I got myself uh, expecting to see it and 
it'll be okay. I'm kind of glad he does not have it. Um, just because I was worried about him, you know, catching it on stuff and being uncomfortable. And I don't want him to be uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, so headed home, go cook some supper. Uh, Sierra's already left for the weekend to go stay with my mom. And um, so it's no fun when she's gone. I usually have a cooking buddy and I enjoy very much enjoy cooking with her because for one I feel like all children need to learn how to cook girls and boys um, that is a very necessary skill to have as an adult and it's bonding time um, I love cooking with her and even though she's um, little nervous working with certain things. I'm giving her more and more responsibility as she's getting older. Um, so now I will allow her to peel and chop potatoes and um, she does take things in and out of the oven um, because as she gets older I don't want her um, to be scared of cooking and I also don't want her to be unfamiliar in the kitchen. I want her to be able to fend for herself and one day cook for her own family. Um, I feel like it was a huge part of bonding with my grandmother as a child. Um, was, you know, watching her cook. My mama, I love her. And getting in there and watching her cook and um, just really was something I looked forward to in summers when we would stay with my grandparents, um, that was always something I really looked forward to was going to the store with her and getting all the ingredients and coming home and cooking meals. Um, so I, I love that I'm passing that on with Sierra and she seems to really enjoy it. But, uh, alright, so pulling up the house, so I'll check back in in a little while. Bye. Puppy. Yeah, he looks like he's feeling a little bit better now. Yeah. He's such a pretty boy. So that's my baby. Aren't you, darling? You know, feeling a little bit better now. So I've been resting for a few hours and now I'm awake and seem like I'm a little more aware. Good boy. I'm a good boy. Yeah.